Hey, what's up Sailor Guardians? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. One thing that I have loved doing on this channel since I first started it way back several years ago are these Artist Alley videos, wherein I take a whole bunch of fan-made crafts, all sorts of different items that were made by small businesses that are inspired by Sailor Moon, and I show you those here, not only to support those small businesses, but also to show off some of the cool merch that I love to share. Now, if you hear noises in the background, that's because both of my cats are in my collection room with me today. They're spending time in here and napping and they're being so cute. So hopefully they stay quiet, but let's go ahead and get started because this is going to be a several parter video series because over the course of 2022, I have collected like 500 Sailor Moon pins, not even kidding. So we're gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna share with you some of the different collections that I have found online and share my support for these small businesses. So let's get started. I will be going through each of these different collections separately to show you all of the different makers. I will be putting links down below to each of these different artists so that you can easily find them. Unfortunately, a lot of these pins are limited edition and are not restocked so if you can't find them on their website I can't really help you with that but I often rotate out my pins and sell or trade out the ones that have been in my collection for quite some time so definitely check out my Instagram if you want to find some of the ones I have for sale and trade otherwise you can often find a lot of these for sale and for trade through Facebook groups as well as other pin collectors on Instagram so I definitely recommend checking out and just trying to search for some of those because oftentimes you will find traders for ones that people are changing out of their own personal collections. I have learned a lot over the past year of what I like and what I don't like anymore. Obviously my own personal collection has changed. So sometimes one that I considered a grail from early in 2022, now I want to rotate out and replace with something new. And that's just kind of how collecting goes. That goes with my regular merchandise as well. So all of these small businesses that you will see in this series of pin collecting videos are artists that I really enjoy supporting. I really like their art. I like the artists that they work with if they commission different artists. And I really like how they take the pieces of art that they have commissioned or created and put it into a piece of metal. I have definitely learned what kind of art I'm really into and which kinds of arts I don't really like. I have learned a lot by collecting all of these based on what kind of effects I really like in pins. I have learned what kind of metals I prefer. I've also learned what kind of art styles I prefer. So there's a lot of personal preference that goes into pin collecting that a lot of people may have different opinions on, and that's totally fine as well. So let's get started with these creators here, and I will move on from them to some more creators of pins that I have collected. I'm so excited. I have been waiting to do this video and actually put these onto pin boards for a very long time. So this is really, really exciting for me. You have already seen Moon Mama design on this channel before. I have worked with them personally. This was a beautiful, beautiful one layer pin that they created out of gold metal. It's very pretty. I love the back stamp that they put on here. Obviously you can tell that it is LE50. That's limited edition 50. This is based off of a piece of manga art but with Moon Mama's own stylization. I think the printing on here is really beautifully done especially in her eyes. Eyes are something that I very much focus on whenever I'm collecting pins and I love the glitter that goes into the petals around her. It's a very pretty piece. I love that she included some printing, some screen printing of shadows in her hair and on her neckline here so it just makes it a really really top quality piece. Love it. Moon Mama Design did a wonderful job on this. They also created created a couple more for a series that I have shared with you here on the channel before. These two are also Moon Mama design and I love that they are facing each other. I love the stars in the background. These are great smaller pins which also means that they are fairly inexpensive and they have some beautiful art style on them. So very very pretty. Super excited to add these to my collection and I really want to do a pin board that includes both Sailor Moon and Prince Endymion. I think that would be a very pretty romantic board so these will definitely 
definitely go on there. Next is also a creator that you have seen on the channel before, and that is Luxie Charm Arts. So first I'm going to show you these two pins, which are basically the same. One is a two layer pin, the other is a one layer pin with a bunch of cute little fillers, but they do include the same art. So this is the two layer pin, which means there's a bottom layer and a top layer. I think it's really pretty in this rose gold. This is LE60, it's called Something Sweet. And I just love the art. I thought it was so adorable. And I love Luna down here grabbing the moon stick and how Sailor Moon is jumping up towards all the sweets because of course Sailor Moon loves sweets. Luxie Charm Arts included a whole bunch of effects in here. Like you saw this one, which has some stained glass effect going on with the glass on the edges of the second layer pin, the bottom layer. She also added some glitter into some of the sweets. So I think that's really, really cute. And honestly, I just could not choose between the pop pin, the pin on pin version, or the topper, which is just the one layer pin. So I bought both of them. That happens a lot. This is an LE25 pin, which features Sailor Moon. I thought this was really pretty and very unique. I love the glitter that's in her skirt. It's really, really loud. I love the creation of this pin. It's very pretty. This is a gorgeous silver colored pin. Uh, which keep in mind, silver does tarnish faster. So there is some tarnishing happening on the edges of this, but that's something that I can fix. The glitter in the moon here is absolutely gorgeous. I love that it's a very fine glitter. So it makes the moon kind of almost shine in the background. So I thought that was really pretty. And I love that this is also kind of a moon effect. So it looks like a phase of the moon is happening where you can still see this one in shadow, but this one of course is lit up by the sun. This is one of my very first Sailor Cosmos pins. So I'm planning to do a Sailor Cosmos board as well. This one is LE45, another beautiful piece by Luxie Charm Arts. Now these ones I'm gonna do together. These are a Luxie Charm Arts as well. Each of these is a steampunk piece of art. And honestly, I would love to see Luxie do all of the Sailor Guardians in this design because they are so freaking cool and different and unique and they're just beautiful. So this one was made through it looks like a rose gold pin on pin. This is LE20. This features Sailor Venus. And of course it's very steampunk, which if you know me, you know that I also have a tech channel. That's my main channel. That's my full-time job. And I love steampunk because it definitely works with my like DIY maker hacker aesthetic. These are really cool. I love this lavender one on silver. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's very heavy. It's a very thick metal. And she did such a great job of taking this art and turning it into a piece of metal. Here's the rose gold version of Sailor Moon and then we also have the regular gold version and honestly this is another one where I just could not choose which variant I liked so I ended up buying all three. They're just stunning, stunning pieces love them. Luxie has also started this very cool series of each of the Sailor Guardians as gods and goddesses. Now you will notice that the names of these gods or goddesses very much matches up with the character and the planetary symbol. It, it goes along very much with the mythos. So these are really, really interesting, especially if you're into mythology. This one, of course, is Ares. Ares is the, I believe it's the god of war, which Mars is the planet for Ares. So that totally makes sense. Same thing with Zeus. Of course, Zeus is the Jupiter god. And then we have Hermes over here, which is Mercury. And Sailor Mercury looks so cool as the god Hermes. These are just beautiful. They would look amazing on a board together. I can't wait to see the rest of this series. They look so freaking cool. And this is a series that's pretty easy to access. You will find several of them still in stock on her store. So I will link it down below. Sailor Venus, I believe was the first one to come out and she had a different kind of screen printing going on on this one. So the newer ones have a little bit more of a cleaner look to them, but this is Aphrodite. I love the screen printing in the background. I think it's beautiful. There's even a little shell peeking out behind her skirt. Looks so cool. And her, her hair is so gorgeous. I just love it. I think it's such an interesting piece of art. It's so unique. And this entire series that Luxie Chum Arts is working on is very, very unique. They look beautiful. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, 
She's white hair and we have the gold hair version or the blonde hair version. Sailor Moon looks amazing as Celine. So, so cool. Just beautiful. I love them. I love them. Moving on to my third maker. This is a new one that I have not shared on the channel before. I just discovered her this year is Different Distractions Pins. Uh, Different Distractions Designs did send over these pieces of art for me to share on the channel and on my Instagram. So I have shared these on my Instagram previously, but look at this. Oh my God. This is the Transformation Series by different distractions designs and they are just beautiful we have the topper pin as well as the pop the back stamp is super cute with the little pokemon aesthetic back there that's one of her logos and it's just such a gorgeous piece i love the screen printing on here going from this dark pink up to a hot and lighter pink up to her face and there's some glitter in the ribbons and in the wings the newest one for this transformation series that i just got so i haven't even taken it off of this backing card is pluto and i love that she started part of this transformation series with Pluto. So happy to see some Pluto love. And the print quality on this one is so defined. It's very, very beautiful. And I love that it goes from this darker like purple color up to her face up here. And she keeps that darker skin tone for Pluto. Of course, Pluto has, you know, the darker skin tone and that's what we'd expect. However, sometimes you will find art of Pluto done where she looks fairly well, white, which she definitely is not. So I appreciate that different distractions thought about that with this art and made sure that she has a darker skin tone. So now I can start a Pluto board. <laughs> this one is really cool too. And I was very excited to see this in person because this is the first one with this effect that I have seen in person. And it's one of the only artists who is using this effect with their pins. So this is a pin of Sailor Moon. She's in a beautiful, beautiful kimono and the gemstones hanging down are really pretty. That's not the effect that I wanted to point it out though. The gradient in her dress is really pretty. Also not the effect. This is the effect that I wanted to point out. So this is falling glitter between, I believe it's two pieces of acrylic for the back plate. I think that's so cool because when you put this up on a board or you carry it around with you, you can see this beautiful falling glitter. And when you hold this out in like sunlight, it looks so so cool. So this is a really fun piece, really cool effect that I'm starting to see in some pens and I think it's really fun. So that is different distractions pens. Moving on. All right, I've got more pins in front of me. Let's go ahead and start with Nerdy Girl Pins, who you have seen on the channel before. So Nerdy Girl Pins has started this really cute like manga series and I'm loving it. It's so adorable. Different back stamps on each one and both of them are in gold. These are so cute and I really like the glittery background on this one. I love the pearlescent like swirl on the one of Usagi in her school uniform. And there's little details like there's glitter in her transformation brooch. Like that's so cute. I love the screen printing done on her eyes. I think her eyes look really lovely and the border is done really well as well. Super cute, so excited to be able to put those on a pin board. Nerdy Girl Pins also sent me this one to share with y'all. Now I've had this one sitting over in my collection haul for quite some time. So I'm very excited to be able to finally share it. This one is so pretty. I think it's adorable for like Mother's Day. What a cute gift. I love that it features both Super Sailor Moon and Super Sailor Chibi Moon in their transformation sequence with this gorgeous silver moon in the background with that pearl swirl. Very, very pretty. And of course, y'all know that I am loving the Guardian Goddesses collection by Nerdy Girl Pins. I believe these were the only ones I was missing from this collection. So I was able to snag all of these to share with you as well. We have Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Uranus. So now I have the entire collection. I, I believe I do, but I'll have to check my pin board because I do have a whole bunch of these from previous hauls. This is the only one that I have made from Luna Mies. And this is just a very pretty pop pin of Sailor Moon. I love the colors that she chose to use this like darker red for the shadowing that goes into her boots and her bow. And I love the moon behind it. The big thing that I wanted to point out here is that the mold kind of presses into the crescent moon in the background and there's no enamel filling those prints. So I thought that was really cool and such an interesting design choice. It's a very pretty pin, very simple, but gorgeous. Now this one is by Lennon Artwork who does a whole bunch of art online and I just love the pin. This is so cute. It would be perfect on my Prince Endymion and Sailor Moon board that I'm gonna create in the future. Love that it has the Moon Palace in the background. 
and just a gorgeous design overall. And Lennon Artwork did do their own artwork for this pin. So this is really cool. Happy to support an artist, especially in the time of AI. This little series right here is by Briar Rose Dolls. Now they did do this recent Sailor Cosmos pin. This is a gold pin, Briar Rose Dolls on the background, and it is limited edition. This one is the white haired version of Sailor Cosmos, but they also did a purple one and I love it. It's so big, it's so cool, such a gorgeous piece. Look at these wings, like how awesome are those wings? It's just a really pretty pin. It's also one of the few that I have of Sailor Cosmo, so I was happy to, happy to be able to own it. Now these are from a series called Crescent Cameos. I have collected, I think all of them that they've released so far. I prefer the vibrant versions, but they do have pastel versions on their website as well. Here we have Sailor Mars. Love that there's little gemstones for the outer cameo portion of this piece of art. They are pop pins and they feature this gorgeous glitter in the background. The art is really cool. One thing that I did notice that's kind of a difference between each one is, for example, Sailor Mars, she doesn't have white around her pupils, but Sailor Moon does. I definitely prefer it when there's white around their pupils. It makes their eyes pop a little bit more, so I love it when there's white on the edges of the eyes. And I also love how she did each of these cameos with, with them in different stances, so they don't all look the same. Here I also have Sailor Jupiter, and she has green gemstones around her. Really, really pretty. And I did decide to collect both versions of Sailor Cosmos since she has different hair colors. So we have the lavender version, which is my personal fave, and the pastel or white version, which has these cute pearls along the edges. So this is probably my favorite of the Crescent Cameo series. It's definitely cute. Love, 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 so adorable. The last artist I wanted to share with you on this board before I exchange it out for more is Man on the Moon Pins. So Man on the Moon is a new discovery for me. It's in the past year. I usually collect these pins once they come in hand because their pre-orders do take a while, but the art is done so well. I love this Luna pin. It's so adorable and it very much reminds me of the Sailor Moon S movie because she has that yellow ribbon on her. I also have this beautiful Sailor Cosmos pin. It's one of my faves. It is a single layer pin. It's made in silver and very beautiful. Some more single layer pins. This really cute one of Sailor Moon in her school uniform form and I also was able to pick up this super sailor moon pin of her on the crescent moon. This is a teeny tiny pop pin of eternal sailor moon looking super fancy. I love that it's small but there's detail in it and then I was able to snag these two pins. I believe I got these from resellers because I missed out on the original pre-order and sales of these. This one is princess serenity in the clouds with luna popping out. It's so adorable. And another princess serenity pin. This one is so so cool. Love the design at the top. This is a stained glass pin, so you can have that see-through glass. And at the bottom, we have Prince Endymion and Princess Serenity. Very pretty piece, very creative. This piece is gorgeous and really, really different art. In rose gold, we have Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask, very pretty. And then I also picked up this Transformation series. So far, there's only two. Hopefully, he continues this series because they are really beautiful. Sailor Mercury here with this gorgeous screen printing in the background. And then we have Sailor Moon with this multicolor background. Both of these are really pretty pins. Last but not least, Man on the Moon Pins has done some really pretty pieces of Sailor Cosmos. So here's a bookmark pin featuring Sailor Cosmos. So it's kind of a bookmark style, so it's in that kind of uh, measurement. And then we have this Sailor Cosmos pin, which a friend gifted me for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. She's so pretty. Moving on, I have a few pins from each of these creators on my top-down camera on my table in front of me. This artist has made some very beautiful pins, but they are very exclusive and hard to get, so I'm happy that I own these ones. This is Ray Pins, and this is the first one that I really wanted to snag from Ray Pins. So this one by Ray Pins features Princess Serenity overlooking Tokyo Tower. And this is another glow in the dark pin, which is not the main reason why I wanted it. I love anything with Tokyo Tower in the background, but it's also a stained glass pin, which is so cool. You can see it's a B grade pin, but I don't even know why, because it's absolutely gorgeous. And I don't see any flaws, do you? Ray Pins also made this adorable Luna pin. Now I did buy 
a couple of different variants of this one and I decided to keep this specific version because she has purple and blue in her skirt and in her dress. The other variant I believe is just blue, but either one, they are just so cute. Lastly from Ray Pins specifically is this very cool pin of Sailor Saturn. She looks like a zombie, but she also has her scythe or her silence glaive. So she kind of looks like a, um, almost like the angel of death and I love it. It's such a cool piece of art, so unique. I think I'm, I'm kind of debating on whether I should put this on a Sailor Saturn board or a Halloween board because it's kind of spooky. So I might lean towards the Halloween board because it doesn't really fit in with the Sailor Saturn outfit, but let me know what you think. Either way, it's a keeper. It's just such a cool piece. This is one of the early, early pins I got in 2022. And the reason why is because I also love Harry Potter. Of course, I prefer to support uh, third party artists and crafters who enjoy the books much more so than supporting JK Rowling. And this is one of those pins that I thought really brings together a couple of my aesthetics. There's the witchy aesthetic and the Sailor Moon aesthetic. This one's also made by Ray Pins, but it was also a collaboration with IF Pins or IF Pins. And the art is by Pillar Art Artist. Very, very pretty. I love how it looks like Sailor Moon is cosplaying Harry Potter. So cute. IF Pins also came out with this really pretty design of Luna. It's a simplistic pin, but the design is definitely not. And I love that about this. It's small, it's compact. It could fit in like an Ita bag, but at the same time, there's so much going on in this beautiful picture. It's a beautiful frame. I love this art style of Luna. She just looks so adorable, so kawaii. I Have Pins has also created this really cool floral series and I only have one of them. So this is Usagi in this floral series. I prefer the color version, but she does have a few other different versions as well. And I Have Pins has created a couple of really cute ones of Luna and Sailor Cosmos. So I have one of each. Here's the Luna one. I have the gold variant and I have the silver variant where she's smiling and has lavender hair of Sailor Cosmos. Okay, last in this section of pins is House of Hotaru, which I struggled to figure out how to get my hands on these pins, but now I've gotten really good at claiming them. This is a comment to claim pin maker on Instagram. I believe they are wrapping up their pin creating. So these are probably gonna be some of the last few that I will show from House of Hotaru, but I really appreciate all of the pins that they have done. All the art has been absolutely gorgeous. So I'm happy to own these in my collection. I do have a few different variants of this one, which features Mistress Nine and Sailor Saturn. I just could not choose between the two of them. So I have the glitter variant in gold, and I also have the black nickel variant in the stained glass. They look so pretty and the art is just absolutely high quality, really gorgeous. Here we have one for a future villains board. That's my plan, but this one features Queen Beryl and Queen Nehelenia. I love seeing the two of them together on this because both of these villains were a part of Princess Serenity's past before she was reborn in our time, I guess you could say. So both of these had a previous history with the moon and Princess Serenity's past. So it's cool to see them two together. This one is awesome and I love the stained glass work on here. It's just so very detailed. This one features, of course, Super Sailor Moon, and we have Hotaru, little baby Hotaru, recently reborn, very pretty. This one I plan to put on a Chibiusa, or maybe even a Black Lady board, or a Wicked Lady board, depending on which name you choose, which one's your preference. The glitter in the ribbon is gorgeous, and I love the darker swirled pearl going on behind her. It almost looks like a dark void. Great art, again, on this piece. Another one for a future villain board with Mistress nine and of course black lady and last from house of hotaro but definitely not least this one is so pretty this one features neo queen serenity and queen nehelenia so this is the last section of pins that i wanted to share with you for this first video in my pin series i did want to give a shout out to hollow taco because they make this amazing amazing nail polish i do my own nails so they're never going to be perfect but i'm very proud to be able to support a fellow youtuber and i love Hollow Taco because they always look so good. And this cardigan, which has Luna all over it, is actually from Torrid, which is a plus size brand online. I bought this in a size 00 because 
it was super cute and I could not find it available in my normal size, which is medium. So this was as close as I could get. It's a little bit large for me, but oh my gosh, it looks so cute. I love this thing. I've had it for a couple of years and just wanted to give it a shout out in case you had any questions about where I got this from. All right, moving on, let's go ahead and finish up this episode. This makes a total of, I believe, 103 pins. So you've only seen a portion of the entire collection that I have hauled from 2022. So this is the first of a series for sure. <laughs> let's go ahead and get started uh, right in the center. I'll start with this one, which is a beautiful pin of tuxedo mask and this is a pastel variant of a pin called midnight moon i'll have to look up the creator because i don't remember who it was and the back stamp only says midnight moon but this is so pretty the screen printing on the background with that gradient of purple and pink is just gorgeous and that's totally what sold me on this i also love that he has the lavender and white cape it's just very very beautiful this one of pegasus is just really freaking cool and this is by skylocket studios i believe you can find them on etsy they also make stickers i bought many of them pins by wafa created this beautiful and huge freaking plate of princess venus and oh my gosh minako looks incredible in this pin i absolutely love it i also am waiting to get a sailor moon one that matches this one and i really hope that they do the rest of the series of all the Sailor Guardians because I would love to collect this in every single one. It's beautiful. The screen printing on the background is gorgeous. I love the swirl pearl for the ribbon that goes around her. There's some glitter in her dress. The screen printing on her face is just gorgeous. It's just such a pretty pin. I have seen this one available via trades and for sale from third parties and from people kind of trading out their collections. So you may still have a good chance of finding one of these in, for your own collection. If you collect Sailor Venus pins, that, that one's a definite yes. You should definitely get it. Saturn pins. I think I also found them on Etsy. This is such a cute pin of Hotaru with Sailor Saturn and Mistress Nine in the background. It's very simplistic. It's black nickel. Saturn pins also made the only pin I have of Kosagi. Now, if you have read the Sailor Moon manga, this is one of the very, very last stories that Naoko has shared in her manga. So spoiler alert, if you've never heard of Kosagi, then you should go and read the story because it's super cute and I just love Kosagi. I know a lot of people don't and that's kind of a hot take or whatever. I know that's kind of an un unpopular opinion, but she's very food motivated and I identify with this. So I just love the pin. I love the character. I think she's so cute. This pin, which features, it's actually three pins in one these two are chained together with the central pin uh, this one was made by an asian creator i'll have to find them and link them below because this does not have a back stamp on it but what you do is you take these two little bubble pins and pin them so that they're pointing at the different characters so you have one up here one down here and this comes from sailor moon eternal but it also comes from the manga and there's a storyline in the original anime so you can see this storyline in several of them where they switch places all right moving on this was a pre-order that i got from uh several months ago and this is by nadia's pin patch this is just so cute. I love everything fall related. Having Luna in the background on the back portion of this pop pin is really cute how she's like fishing for pumpkins. And then we have Usagi dressed in this adorable fall outfit with some overalls holding a pumpkin and I just, I love it. Fall is my favorite time of the year. So anytime I can find pins that are like Usagi, but in fall outfits, I'm on top of it. A lolly vamp made a couple of these pins that I found and I like holiday inspired pins. So Luna with this pumpkin, this pumpkin has the Black Moon Clan dark crescent moon on her forehead. And then we also have this holiday version, like a candy cane moon stick. Barbara D designs, you have seen on some of my older Artist Alley videos, really really happy to be able to share her again with y'all this sailor saturn or hotaru design is adorable it's a single layer pin on black nickel and it just looks really good i love the art style and this pin and this dinner plate by barbara d designs is just epic i love it the stained glass ribbons behind her are so cool the glitter and the flowers beautiful it's a heavy pin it's very hefty and i love how big her dress is it's just like it's very extra really gorgeous and her eyes look amazing great job on this design barbara i love it okay this pin is 
like a year of the rabbit type of pin of Usagi, which makes sense since her name means rabbit of the moon. So we have Usagi Skino dressed in this cute kimono with little bunnies all around her. She has little bunny ears on top of her head. There's a crescent moon behind her. And this is by Pretty Thumb. These also came with three really cute little teeny tiny bunny rabbits. And I'm trying so hard not to lose them because they are so small. But these are three little filler pins of little bunnies. And they are so freaking cute. This one was sent to me by Anna Babe Pins and I love it. Uh, you can find much more of their art on Instagram. And this one of Black Lady or Wicked Lady is so cool. And I love how it's very Valentine's themed. She's so pretty. Definitely wanted to include this one in this video because I love how different and how naughty this one looks. I don't have a lot of naughty pins, but this is definitely one of them. <laughs> Eternally Pinned made this really beautiful one of Eternal Sailor Moon. Love the pearlescent effect going on in her wings and it's a very very simple design but the art is just stunning here's another discovery that i made this year is hetera helix art from i believe the uk these three because uh, i again i could not choose a variant are by hetera helix art these are the first three that i've gotten from this artist and I have many more on pre-order, so I'm looking forward to getting those in the mail. All three of these are Sailor Cosmos, but they're different colors and they are also different metals. So we have these bottom two, which are in gold, and this top one, which is in a rainbow plated metal. All three of them are very, very neat, really cool designs and so cute. These two are very similar pieces of art, but they feature Sailor Moon in different styles. So we have, of course, Princess Serenity over here with the Moon Palace behind her, and then we have Sailor Moon with Tokyo Tower behind her, and both of them feature Sailor Moon with the same expressions, but she's like holding the silver Millennium Crystal over here, and then over here we have her with her Star Locket. I'll link the creator for this one down below because they didn't include it on the back stamp. Panishi Pins made this very, very cute fall seasons or whispers of fall series. I do already have a few of these, so you have seen Panishi Pins on the channel before, but these are the next three in the series. So we have Jupiter, we have Mars and Moon, or Usagi, Rei, and Makoto. I love that each of them has a different style to them. I love that each of them has a different leaf on the border. The art is very thoughtful with each of these pieces. The background and the aesthetics and the colors definitely match the design for each of the characters. I have seen the art for the rest of the Whispers of Fall collection. I cannot wait until they're made into pins. These would look so cute on anybody's like fall aesthetic pin board or a fall Ita bag that you use seasonally. Oh my gosh, those would be so perfect. Panichi Pins has also created a couple of really beautiful pieces of Princess Serenity. I have two of these, but there were other variants available too. This is a silver pin of a white haired Princess Serenity. She is gorgeous. And then we also have this one, which is gold of Princess Serenity and it's a pop pin. So you can see the background with that swirled pearlescent color. There's some glitter in there. Lots of effects go into these two pins and I absolutely adore them. This art style is so soft and so very, very perfect for Princess Serenity. Okay, last for this episode of my pin series is a recent discovery again of a new maker that I have just found online, but I am totally digging their style and they have made some really cool and very unique pieces. So I wanted to share these with you. This is Shinies by Sammy. So Shinies by Sammy is doing this series that features like mirrored characters. So we have Sailor Cosmos and Chaos Galaxia here with a rose in the center. There's a lot of detail going on and, the, and I'm really digging the art style. From the Sailor Moon S movie, which is my favorite Sailor Moon movie, we have Luna and of course we have the enemy from that movie, which I believe is uh, Kaguya, I wanna say, the Ice Queen. And I have the one that features Princess Serenity and I love this anime art. She just looks so perfect. And Queen Nehelenia. This one is cool, I wanted to point out because the background looks like, it honestly looks like a phase of the moon. So you have like the lighter side of the moon and then you have the darker side. It's almost like Pink Floyd inspired right there. The dark side of the moon. 
It's really cool. This is a Shinies by Sammy piece of Sailor Moon and she's in this cute little Christmas outfit. Again, these seasonally inspired pins are so cute. I think they would look perfect in a like seasonal Ida bag or a seasonal pin board. And the last one I wanted to feature today is a really beautiful piece that features Prince Endymion and Princess Serenity. And I know I said Prince Endymion a few times when talking about him as Tuxedo Mask, but that's just gonna happen. So this is a pop pin, it is in silver and it's so romantic and so pretty. Everything from the earth that's glowing in the background to the effects that they used in this top pin are just so beautiful. Really, really like it and love how it's stylized. Okay, so that was the first in my pin series about hauling all sorts of pins from 2022. At the end of this series, I will be showing you how I'm creating the boards and how I'm doing an entire wall. I'm very inspired right now to do this, this really cool wall of art. And one of my local friends gave me a great idea for how I'm going to design that wall. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. So stick around. If you enjoy this kind of video, make sure to check out the other ones down below. I'll make a playlist so you can follow along with all the different makers and all the different pins that I've collected over the past year. If you saw any pins on my table that I did not include in a close-up, that's because that maker did not want to be included in the full review video. So you would have just seen them in the background or seen them on my Instagram page, or you will see them on my future pin wall as I organize that, but I won't be pointing out those makers. And that's just for privacy. I know that some makers want to remain anonymous and I fully respect that and hopefully you do too. In the next video, I will briefly explain how I was able to stay within budget and still be able to collect so many pins over the past year or so. So definitely stick around if you are interested in becoming a collector of pins. And I will briefly touch on that in the next one, along with some more makers from my pin hauling of 2022. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs, Jenny.